And hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV with Movie Entertainment with me, your host Jonathan. Once again, bringing you my thoughts and review for Netflix's new season of Cobra Kai Season 5. That's right, Cobra Kai is back. I just did my Season 4 review because I had to rewatch it and I totally forgot I didn't make a video about it. I have the other ones up on the channels there as well. So anyway, if you have not seen Cobra Kai yet or not even this season, spoilers ahead. I'll try not to keep it somewhat spoilers, but I'll, you know, I'll, this is more my spoiler review. So let's talk about it. So the last time we saw, you know, Danny and everybody and Johnny and the, his their teams, they just lost. You know, Tori just won the tournament, beating Sam and the finals. You know, Hawk won. You know, the male division, but you know, Tori won the women's division. So, but she ends up finding out that. She won through cheating, but and she starts being conflicted about, you know, is Cobra Kai being truthful with me? And what can I do to improve? You know, can I really trust them kind of way, you know? While that's going on, you have Danny. He's also trying to figure out a way to try to stop, um, you know, um, Silver. He's trying to stop Silver. You know, he brings his friend in from Japan to come who you know who, who who comes over um to help him out and you know they're trying to figure out what to do and how to stop him because silver at this point is basically kind of doing the whole world domination if you will in a in a 80s kind of action family kind of film version where his his philosophy is make cobra kai everywhere and that's exactly what he wants to do he wants to make cobra kai branch out so not only to the valley, which he really pretty much has conquered already. He's trying to bring branch it out to everywhere throughout the United States. He starts bringing people from from all over, you know, Japan to come over, you know, bringing the high senseis to try to teach their methods to Cobra Kai students, so that way they can be even more lethal than they always are. Of course, Cobra Kai students once again up against with uh, Miyagi Do students, and of course Fang. You know, Eagle Fang students, you know, they all have that those rivalries. You know, stay in your side, stay in our side kind of lane. You know, turf versus turf kind of thing. So we got to see that. And we also get to see Johnny, you know, experience something new as well. Where him and uh, Miguel's mother, they are expecting a child together. So he's freaking out because, you know, he wasn't really good at it the last time with his, 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 old, his son. So he wants to make sure he's completely ready for it you know he wants to change his ways try to get a job try to stay out of the whole cobra kai drama you know he's trying to keep himself you know a, a humble man if you will you know he wants to be there this time for his kid and also you know try to be there for his son as well of course his son and miguel they, they you know they still butt heads too so they don't even know that they're going to be related pretty soon at this point and um yeah so we get to see that that eventually gets fixed we also see Tori going to visit the old sensei in prison because, you know, she's trying to figure out what to do. He's trying to get information about how to take down Silver from the inside. So there was that. That was pretty cool as well. Um, obviously, the, the kid from last season who, who got bullied by uh, San's little brother, who's now become the biggest bully, if you can will, and the biggest, I guess, champion. He hasn't won the title yet, but basically the champion of Cobra Kai, you know. he's He went from that kid who was like, oh, I don't know if I should punch. I, I don't like violence. I like, I like cosplay. I like, you know, dressing up and doing fancy role plays and all that. To be he's basically being a killing machine. You know, when um Johnny's son tried to teach him how to, you know, defend himself and all that. He took those lessons to heart and amplified it like 100% more times crazier like his character arc really went because he was only introduced in one season you know we were like ah oh, another kid yeah sure but his whole arc went from being that kid who got bullied in the playground to being the new bully around the block like literally he he has Cobra Kai so in his head it's 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 affected him he's basically became the dark side if you will like literally the dark side yeah, you got the other Cobra Kais too, but he takes that philosophy to heart. You know how like you have a person who's very religious and they go to church or temple or whatever it is, 
you know, constantly and they always, that's all they do. That's exactly what he does. That's like his number one thing. You know, he doesn't care about anybody else. He doesn't care who he's got to hurt to get on top. That's his motto. He wants to be the one on top. He doesn't want to be that weakling anymore. And I thought what they did with his character, I thought they did a really good job of just capturing who he who he was to who he is now. And I thought that was great. Then, of course, we got to see the whole big showdown at the end where Danny versus uh, Silver. We got to see that fight. Johnny ends up helping as well. Of course, Danny's friend also from Japan. He shows up and helps out too. Sam and and Tori become friends at the end and they all eventually work together to take out Silver. Then of course Silver's truth comes out about what happened with, you know, the tournament and of course him lying about Stingray. Stingray comes back to we find out that, you know, he's been scared to tell the truth because he had a lie in court saying that the other one beat him up so badly that he out of the hospital, so that's why he's in jail and Silver took control of Cobra Kai to make it a big franchise. We got to see all that. that. That stuff was great. Um, but yeah, I really thought the season was really cool. There was some things in here I, I kind of wish they would have done, maybe in earlier seasons, that maybe will lead up to this one. I kind of wish that, um, sorry, I kind of wish Sam would have turned on, you know, Miyagi though. Because I would have, you know, when she fought Sam the first time, she, uh, Tori the first time, she kind of got scared when she was in that high school fight. She got scared and she, she didn't even want to fight anymore. So that would have been a great way for her to turn on Miyagi-Do and go kind of dark a little bit. Kind of like how when Danny joined Cobra Kai for a little bit and then how then he realized eventually, what the heck am I doing here? This is this is not what I want. I don't want this. And he goes back. I kind of wish they would have done that with his daughter. That would have been pretty cool to see that. Because, yeah, we got that with Johnny's kid. We should have got that with Sam. Sam should have turned... Amiyagi and join um, Cobra Kai for a little bit and then eventually realize, whoa, these guys are twisted and try to turn back Tori to their side. But then, event, you know, Tori does eventually turn good anyway because she's been working with the other sensei to try to figure out how to get Silver out of power. And they eventually do. Uh, Silver's in jail now. And, of course, the ending shows that... Um, the other sensei, he faked his death in prison, which is like no surprise, and he escapes prison. So, are we going to get another season? Not sure right now, but um, I really thought the season was great. And now Cobra Kai is pretty much in shambles. You know, the kids, you know, found out the truth. You know, they don't want nothing to do with the sensei anymore. You know, Tori and, and, and I think it's Robbie. I keep forgetting his name. Uh, Johnny's kid. They hooked up. Uh, Sam and Miguel are together now, so and you know Miguel and uh, Johnny's son, they're they're friends now because they're gonna be like brothers now because what with the baby coming, and um, yeah, Cobra Kai is dismantled for now. So are we gonna get in the season? Uh, is the other sensei gonna come back and take over, finish what he started? I don't know, but I really thought this season was great. I really like the ending of how they they took out the big boss here. Yeah, sure, technically the other one was the original boss, and he still needs to be taken out too, but if this is going to end like this, where the big boss, the big boss's boss takes over and he gets taken down, I'm okay with it. But hopefully, fingers crossed, we get a season six. So, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Are you guys excited about Cobra Kai season five? Did you guys watch it? Did you guys like it? Which is your favorite season so far? For me, so far, between it's between four and five i like the other seasons too but i think these two had like the best martial arts stuff the best training montages i think they both had like the great you know their stories connected more better than the others did because they really picked up the story for you know for where it went from season one to now so i thought it did a really good job there and i'm just excited to see if we get another season because if we do awesome if we don't you know, I got five good seasons plus Karate Kid movies too, but um, let's see what happens. So leave a comment below, let me know. Thank you very much, and have a good day.